Welcome back to my Keto Kitchen, Keto Naturopath Kitchen. It's the fall time of year, it's getting a little cooler, nice to have dinners for the cool days. So I am making a stuffed pepper soup, completely keto, clean keto. Um, and I'm doing mine in my uh, slow cooker. It actually is a crock pot, so I can say crock pot. You can do this on the stove, but for me in the nice fall days, I like to just dump everything in a crock pot, let it cook for four or five hours, and then just enjoy a nice dinner. So we're gonna start off with a pound of lean ground beef, and I have a 90% um, beef to 10% fat. And the reason, it, it, it doesn't matter so much if you're doing it on the stove and you can then um, drain the ground beef after you brown it, but when it's in the slow cooker, you're not gonna be draining it. You don't want a lot of fat. There will be liquid that comes through, which is good because this is a soup. So I'm just, you know, chunking off some pieces and later, you know, during the cooking, after about an hour, I will stir it and make sure that the ground beef or hamburger, as my mother would call it, is all ground up. I mean, all small pieces, so there's no big chunks. So we have that. And we're gonna add onions. I, I chop, it's another thing. I could never understand when years ago, and I never used my slow cooker because it says, well, cook the, cook the meat on the stove and do the vegetables and do this and that. And it's like, what's the sense of using a slow cooker if you have to do it all on the stove anyway? I might as well do it on the stove. So I don't do that anymore. I, and I like to chop things up the day before because the day of, I don't want to um, bother with any of that stuff. So we're going to do onions, and this is uh, one onion chopped, so I'm going to put about half of the onion in. I have two green peppers that I've chopped, and this is a stuffed pepper soup, so in it, I, I did them a little chunkier than normal because I don't want them to disintegrate. This is stuffed pepper soup. And then I was going to do a green pepper and a yellow pepper, but... And then I said, we have these peppers that we grew um, this year. It's the first time growing them. When I read the, the tag when I bought them, they were, it said it was sweet. And then I tasted one a few days ago, and it's like, whoa, this has a little ping to it. And then I read the tag again, and it's like, yeah, it's got a little bit of, of heat at the end. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to use mint, many of that. What I did do as I took the seeds out, because a lot of times in hot peppers, like jalapenos and everything, the heat is in the seeds. So I took the seeds out so it wouldn't be too hot. And then um, for the seasoning, I have a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of oregano, a teaspoon of basil, half a teaspoon of thyme, and a half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes. So I'm gonna put the, all the seasoning in here in the middle because that's what I want to do. And then I'll finish putting the hamburger in. And the amount of time to cook this is going to vary with your slow cooker. I have three slow cookers and the, the temperature varies on each one of them. So you just have to check to see how yours is. One of mine is very, very hot. And even when I cook it on low, it's as if I was cooking it on high with my other one. So be aware and monitor yours and stir it every once in a while stir it up get everything mixed up make sure the hamburger is broken up okay so there we go so i'm going to put the rest of the onions on the rest of the pepper and now the liquid this is a soup so I have a 115 ounce can of fire roasted diced tomatoes. I have an 8 ounce can of tomato sauce. You can add uh, maybe 15 ounces, but I want to, you know, I don't want as many carbs in this, so I chose um, 8 ounce. And then you're going to have 2 ounces of beef broth. 
Now this is my own beef broth that I made a while ago. So, and I tried to take all the fat off of it because I don't want extra fat. And I, I pour it in the cans because I want to get all the tomato. And this is a soup, so it may seem like a lot of liquid, but it's a soup and not just a casserole. So now, I'm going to cook this on low for four hours. And I'm going to check it after four hours to see if it's cooked. And if it is cooked, I'll see you back in four hours. If it takes longer, we'll see you back whenever it's finished cooking. So, so the stuffed pepper soup is cooked. I actually ended up turning it on high for four hours. And as I mentioned, it depends on how hot or cold or hot your slow cooker works. And I had to do this on high. I have other slow cookers that low would have been more than enough. It smells so good. And as you know, stuffed peppers normally have rice in it. So you could put a keto rice by that. This is a uh, miracle rice. It's like miracle noodles only in the shape of rice. There are these kelp noodles. Carl likes these kelp noodles if we ever have anything noodly and you can cut them up so that they're small. And then there's also the palmini, um, pasta, which is made out of um, hearts of palm. This is usually, if I'm using some pasta, I will use the hearts of palm because it's real food, um, as opposed to the miracle noodles, which are konjac flour, and the kelp noodles are fine. But we have been keto for so long, at least eight and a half years, and we didn't use any... Um, substitutes for so long that I actually prefer my food now without it. I was thinking of put, cutting up some of the palmini, but I'd much rather have it just by itself. We are dairy free, but if you're not and you want to put grated cheese on it, you know, it would be perfect. I briefly tasted this a little on those little yellow peppers that I put in that were not supposed to be hot. They're hot. So, I'm going to taste this. It's still hot, so I'm going to just taste a little bit. Mm. That is so good. On a nice cold fall afternoon, stuffed pepper soup is delicious. Oh, goodness. You'll love it.